Right now, the Knox County Board of Education's monthly work session is underway. School leaders plan to talk about a contract with the McNabb Center that expands mental health services in middle and high schools across the district. 10 News reporter Jacinta Render live from that meeting. Jacinta, what does this contract look like and, and how will it help school counselors in the long run? Good evening, Robin. The contract is exactly $1.8 million and is all about expansion. It would place a mental health expert in each middle and high school across the district. Now, the McNabb Center has counseled kids before, but this is more uh, towards crisis situations and to help kids in tough situations dealing with their mental health. You know, it allows for immediate access to a counselor on site um, in an environment where a child already feels comfortable. Mary Katsikas is the regional vice president of the McNabb Center. She says the nonprofit has always been there for students in Knox County Schools. A new contract the Board of Education is considering would allow them to do more. The grant also is going to expand our services in that we will provide a mental health um, crisis worker for the school system. The contract is $1.8 million. It would place a mental therapist in every high and middle school in the district. School board chair Christy Christie says there's always been a need for more mental health services. And a lot of that's based on my discussion with parents and what you know they tell me their students are dealing with or that they're dealing with as a family, especially coming out of the pandemic. Christy also believes the contract with the McNabb Center would provide extra help to school counselors. So when we say school counselor, I think it's important for people to realize that they do a lot, you know, outside of just helping students with, with mental health needs. I mean, we're talking about career opportunities on track for graduation. Knox County has really made a huge effort in, in really taking into consideration student health. The board plans to vote this Wednesday on this new contract and board chair Christy Christie says she does not see why it would not pass. And if the vote, if the board does vote on it, it will take um, effect in January of 2023. Robin. I just said to thank you and we will have more updates on this work session coming up at six. New at five.